Hi ladies, it's Dr. Natalie here for you. Today we are talking about all the new behaviors you're going to have to adopt to become a successful entrepreneur. It's an important topic for all entrepreneurs, but then also for women. So we'll look at both sides because once you're an entrepreneur and you have a business, you're now responsible for something other than yourself, for other people and all the consequences that come with that. So there are a lot of behaviors that you have to adopt for yourself and change and adjust to make sure you're optimized to be the best entrepreneur you can be. I'm not saying change your personality. This has nothing to do with your personality. It's about the traits that you can train in yourself to make sure you're doing what's best for the company and yourself at all times. For example, the first thing I always think of is time management. When you work for someone, you're just expected to show up at work at a certain time and leave at that time. You get your tasks done in the day. That's a bit of time management, but it's not that much pressure. However, when you have a business, you don't have set hours of the business starts now and ends now. Even if there's working hours, you have so much back-end things to do. So much preparation, negotiations, supplies, organizing, packaging. There's so much other stuff you have to plan for and you are responsible for. As well as the rest of your life, whether you have kids or a job or a family or someone else to look after, you are now responsible for all your time and all your priorities and making sure they fit in your day which is also part of energy management. You can't afford to burn out or to take four days off and not answer your phone when you have a business and there are orders coming. You can't afford to disappear or to go so hard every on, for three days in a row and then do nothing for three days in a row. You have to learn how to pace yourself, how to know when you're alert, when you're tired, how to plan your day better so that you're doing important things when you're more alert and then you're doing other things or business things that are not highly intensive for your brain when you're a bit sleepy or a bit tired or how to plan your day so that you're doing some things in the morning and some in the afternoon so that when you you have to go to town you know you're going at the time when it's not busy or you're going to meet someone you plan things in advance there are so many small traits that it helps if you're intentional about and you think about them and you plan your day your month your business with them in mind as women we have to learn how to be assertive you know when you have a business no one else is going to come and fight for you you can't call your husband and say, Bananga, the supplier is really negotiating with me badly. Call them and help me. You have to learn how to do it yourself. You have to learn how to assert yourself, to call people out when they're not doing things properly, how to discipline employees who are not performing properly. You have to be able to have difficult conversations. You have to be able to speak up for yourself, to pitch for yourself, to sell your own products. And that takes practice. A lot of times in our culture, we have not been encouraged to speak up in that way or to be forceful about things. So it's hard and it can be scary. So it's something you have to practice as a woman and practice as an entrepreneur because it's what's best for your company. You have to think of your company and put your own feelings aside in the moment if you know this is what's right for your company. So there are different things you have to start to do to think about now that you're an entrepreneur that is different from who you were before you were an entrepreneur. Miley Cyrus recently said, her every day before she goes to bed, she says goodbye to the person that she is because everything she's learned in the day, by the time she wakes up tomorrow, she's a whole new person. She takes on a new attitude. So you have to think like that. I'm going to keep growing and evolving. Who I was before I had a business is not who I am today because the person I am today with a business is a whole completely different person. It might be hard and it takes you time to build these habits and practice these new behaviors, but you have to take on that attitude of I am changing, I am evolving, and you'll become a stronger leader for it and a more successful entrepreneur. If you were a shy person before, but now you have a business and you have to be selling your business all the time, you're going to exhibitions, you have a shop, you call clients, you have to do marketing posters, you have to get out of that shy behavior and get into sales behavior. So you have to accept that you will keep growing and changing and be proactive about it. If there's something you don't understand or you're not so confident in, Google it, watch a video, ask someone, find a mentor, speak to one of your friends, learn how to do it because the you who knows how to do it is very different from the you who didn't even know you needed to know those things but as entrepreneurs we have to think more than just for ourselves because now you're responsible for the welfare of the people who are around you your suppliers need your business to succeed your staff need your business to succeed your dependents at home need your business to succeed so you have to think as a leader as more than yourself how can you do what's best for the business and how can you balance it and see the big picture, managing your stock, planning the month. How are you going to pay salaries? Have you paid rent? Are you too tired to go to work today? 
it's up to you to think of those things in advance and be intentional in how you're going to plan them. Because it's a different challenge to start a new habit from having a new behavior. And to have these new behaviors, you have to first adjust your whole mindset and then break it down into which tasks you need to do. Oh, I need to be more supportive of my employees. I'm too critical. I don't encourage them. Let me be mindful every morning. Today, I'm going to try and be supportive to my employees. I'm going to encourage them. So as you're doing these things on a day-to-day, -day, you're seeing which tasks and actions you're putting in place. That's how you're building new habits to support your new behavior because that's supporting the new you who is an entrepreneur to make sure that you are putting your best foot forward. Because as the owner of the business, you have to lead by example. You have to be able to do the hard things. You have to be able to do the good things. You have to be able to know all the details of a business. It's up to you to be responsible for those things because everyone will take the lead from you. However you set the example, that's the culture in your company now. If they know you never answer your phone before midday, they also won't do their work before midday. If they know that every morning you're the one who comes early and checks and counts all the inventory yourself, they'll make sure they're always there and counting it so they're not making mistakes because you, they know you'll catch them out. So it's up to you to set the example and the standard that you want. So aim high, dream big. Who are the mentors you have? Who are the role models you think of? How do they run their businesses? Ask questions, learn from them, and then see yourself doing it like that. Visualize the you who is this successful entrepreneur. You don't have to say, one day in 10 years, that will be me. The only way you'll reach there is if you start acting now. So see it in your mind and see what are the actions I have to take. What are the behaviors? That version of me in 10 years who is so successful, what is she like? How do I start to act like her now and practice those things so that they become habits, they become behaviors till it becomes you and that's just how you are. It takes a process. So the sooner you start that journey, the better for you and the better for your business.